And the final area for you to have a bit of a look at is technological applications. And one of the things I guess that we are aware of um, as we carry out titrations is the um, labor intensive manner of titration. The fact that it, it is a very precise technique, it's very hard to hit exactly that uh, equivalence point or that end point when you're carrying out your titrations. <clears throat> and as a result of that, um, there are a number of devices now, technological devices, that can be used to automate the titration process. Some of these you'll find um, used in the food industry. Uh, we also have uh, an uh, improvement in the quality of technology associated with uh, blood sampling and blood testing. Some of the gas sensors, obviously the two main gases that we're looking at here are carbon dioxide and oxygen. Carbon dioxide in particular, um, uh, is something that when present in the blood can change the pH and therefore uh, there are some important consequences associated with not just um, how to ensure that there is good blood chemistry in terms of pH but also in terms of monitoring to make sure that the um, levels don't fall too high or too low. And I guess one other area that's a nice one to look at is wastewater management. Um, we know that there are a number of processes that are part of what happens to our water, um, both um, the water that's uh, kind of fresh water that feeds into our systems and gets processed into drinking water, as well as the water that gets flushed away um, and what happens to that. In terms of water treatment in general, um, acids and bases play a particularly important role. So the pH of drinking water is very important, but so is the pH of waste water. And this requires two very important processes. One is monitoring of the levels, so we need ways of determining what the pH is uh, in comparison to what it should be, and also in terms of management to know which particular chemicals we can add that may uh, help restore the balance of pH without actually creating more problems than they are solving. This is a very quick overview of the uh, applications of acid-base reactions, and I'm sure that you'll have the opportunity to um, look at some of these in a little bit more detail during class time. Thanks for watching.